Moderation Analysis Using IBM SPSS AMOS So what is the concept of moderation? Moderation is where the direct influence of an independent variable on the dependent variable is altered or changed because of a third variable. So an existing relationship is changing and that is changing because of another variable and that variable is referred to as a moderator. This third variable is called a moderator and it can influence the strength and sometimes the sign that is it can change the relationship from positive to negative or negative to positive. A moderator is said to interact with the independent variable to determine the influence on the dependent variable. So what the moderator does is it interacts with the independent variable in influencing the dependent variable. Thus, you will hear the term interaction when testing for moderation where the combined effect of independent variable and the moderator is examined. So, it's common to use the word interaction with moderation analysis and you will hear this term a lot. So, how do we test for moderation? Now, there are numerous ways to test for moderation using SCM. The first method I will discuss is the interaction term method. An interaction term is where you form a product term of the independent variable and the moderator and assess its impact on the dependent variable. This interaction term will then let you know if the presence of the moderator is significantly influencing the relationship from the independent variable to the dependent variable. Now if your moderator is a continuous variable, the interaction term method is the preferred option in moderation testing. So if your variable is a continuous variable, then obviously you should use the interaction term method. So what example are we going to use to test moderation in AMOS? Let's look at the moderation example that uses an interaction term. For simplicity, I'm going to use a path model with composite variables to initially show how moderation test is performed. This will be just basic moderation analysis now using our example from the path model test, collaborative culture will lead to improved organizational performance. If we say that the relationship from collaborative culture to organizational performance is moderated by the level of role ambiguity. Now role ambiguity moderates the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance such that a higher level of role ambiguity will reduce the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance. That is, role ambiguity will negatively influence the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. We need to see how the interaction of collaborative culture and role ambiguity influences organizational performance. So we will create an interaction of collaborative culture and role ambiguity. So what's the first step? The first step is mean centering. To assess this interaction, we need to form a product term of role ambiguity and collaborative culture. That is the interaction of the moderator and the independent variable. A problem that can occur with the product term is high collinearity with the original constructs in the model. Now, one way to circumnavigate this problem is to mean center the variables in your data. Now there has been a long debate on whether mean centering is necessary or not. Now previous research has stated that the results are essentially the same whether you mean center or leave the data in its raw form. While the differences between these methods are minimal, the advantage of mean centering the data is not only are you accounting for potential collinearity issues, but it also makes the interpretation of results much easier. The recommendation to mean center your data before analyzing the data is actually encouraged. Now in testing for moderation, we need to mean center the independent variable and the moderator before we form the product term. So you need to mean center both your independent and moderator before you create your product term. So how do we do mean centering? To mean center the data, we first need to get the mean for our independent and our moderator. Now how do we get the mean? We go to SPSS, we go to analyze, 
descriptive statistics and take out the descriptives for our independent and moderating variable. How to do this? I'm going to tell you now. You go to analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives. And your independent variable is collaborative culture. Your moderator is role ambiguity. If you go to options, well, yes, the mean is selected. So just press OK. And here are your mean values. For collaborative culture, 4.70. For role ambiguity, 2.65. We are going to later use these values. Now, before we go on and use these values, let's cover the steps. Now, since this is a path model, we are only concerned with the composite variables of the independent variable and the moderator. Now, obviously, we selected the ones and we got these results. So we've got 4.7019 for CC and the mean for RA is 2.6598 on a scale from 1 to 7. Now this step is complete. The next step is once we have the mean values, we need to form new variables. That is those variables or your independent and moderating variable centered. Now in order to do this, what you have to do is you have to go to SPSS, transform menu and then compute variable because you are creating new mean centered variables. So how do we do this? For CC, what we are going to do is we already have our composite variable CC that is formed through the mean of all the indicators for CC. And then we are going to subtract the mean value from each value of CC. How do we do this? Now let's go back here. Now CC was measured using these six items. Now these six items were transformed into this particular single variable. How did I do this? Simple, just go to transform, compute variable, type in CC as your target variable and take the mean of CC1, CC2 up until CC6 because these are the six indicators for collaborative culture. Just press OK and the new variable is created like this. Now in this case, our step is to create a center CC variable. That is, we have to mean center our CC variable. Now how to do this? We'll go to transform, compute variable and name it center CC. And here I'm going to do mean centering like this. So we add CC, subtract the mean 4.7019. Let me confirm if I'm adding the mean correctly. What is it? Yeah, 4.7019. All right, press OK. And now your new variable is created. Where is it? Come to data view. Go to the end. Now here it is. Now each mean value for CC for every particular respondent is subtracted from the mean. So 5.83 minus 4.7019 and these are the results. Now we have to do similar thing for role ambiguity as well. So go to transform, compute variable and here we will write center RA. And in this case, we will subtract RA which is our composite variable for role ambiguity. And what's the mean for role ambiguity? Let's have a look. The mean is 2.6598. Two point six five nine eight. Just press OK, and your new variable is created. Here it is, center R. Now this step is complete. Just going to review this step now. So we went to compute variable. So we created center CC variable. In the numeric expression, we wrote CC minus the mean value, and similarly we did for center RA, RA minus the mean value. Now the two new variables were created and listed as the last columns. To verify mean centering results, check the descriptives of newly formed variables and your mean should be zero. And the standard deviation of the mean centered and original variables would remain the same. So how do we do this? Again, just take the descriptives of the newly created variables, analyze, Descriptive statistics, descriptives. We need to remove these because these were our original variables. 
and these are our mean centered variables. Press OK. Now look at this. The mean is 0. So you have mean centered correctly. So here is our step 1 for moderation. Mean centering. Variable minus the mean score. So next step. Once we have created the newly centered variable, we need to create the product term of the centered variables. Now how do we create the product terms? Simply go to transform, compute variable and we are going to name it interaction or inter cc into ra. Now you multiply the centered variables, not the original variables. How to do this? Go to transform, compute variable and we have to create the interaction term inter cc into ra. And how do you create the interaction term? You have to multiply the centered variables. Center CC multiply by center RA. Now press OK and your new variables are created. Have a look here. See, this third variable is created and these are the values for the third variable. And, the, and this is actually the multiplication of this with this. Now this step is complete. Once we have formed the mean centered variables and the interaction variable, now we have the mean centered variables that is center CC, center RA and the interaction variable. The next step is to go to AMOS and draw our moderation model. So our step 1, mean centering. Our step 2, creating the interaction term by multiplying the centered IV with the centered moderator. So how do we do this in AMOS? In AMOS, to test moderation, you need to include a path from the moderator and the interaction to the dependent variable, which in this example is our organizational performance, which is our dependent variable. We will have three paths leading to OP. The path from the independent variable, the moderator and the mean centered interaction of the two constructs. Note that you only need to bring the centered interaction variable. All other variables are the original composite variables. Also make sure to add error term to your dependent variable like this. Now how do we do this in AMOS? Let's get our data file, select data file, file name and our data file is, here is the data file, press OK and locate your data. So the variables are not listed here, why? Because you did not save your original data file. Now you have saved it, import it again. This is my file. Press OK. Look at the variables. Now they are listed. So your step one, add your independent variable, drag and drop, add your moderating variable, drag and drop, add your dependent variable, Add the interaction term. Now that the variables are added, now let's uh, resize them a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize all the variables as this interaction term. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this, drag properties from here, height, width, and just going to drag from this to this variable, from this to this, or maybe from the original one to all the other variables. So just need to drag from the original variable and drop it onto the variable that you want to be resized. Now press cross. Now we are going to arrange these variables. Look at this here. Link the variable. CC to OP. RA to OP. And the interaction to OP. Now let's brush it up and add our error term on the dependent endogenous variable like this here and go to plugins name unobserved variables the next step you need to draw covariances between your independent variables go to plugins draw covariance now this model is complete just brush it up a little now here it is Deselect. Yes. Now you are ready to run the model. But before we do that, just go to analysis properties. Go to output. Select your standardized estimates. 
We do not need anything else for now. Or square multiple correlation is a good thing. Now let's run the model. Calculate estimates. Now you need to first save your file. Go to Amos. Now the model is running. Let's see the standard estimates. 36% change in OP can be accounted to these variables. And view text to view your output. So where are your results? If you go to estimates, just click estimates here. Just click estimates here and you will see the results. Is there moderation? Look at this here. Yes, there is a moderating effect of role ambiguity because the interaction term is significant. Is it negative as expected? Yes, it's negative. So role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance and as expected this is negative now how do we interpret these results in order to interpret these results i've got the output here so your step one variable minus your mean score your step two you create the interaction term by multiplying the centered iv with the centered moderator and finally you build your scm model by adding iv mv and the interaction of centered variables now how do we analyze the output now look at this so we go to estimates in the output here estimates and we'll get our regression weights and we see that the interaction is negative and significant why significant because this is less than 0 0.05 the negative means that the moderator is negatively influencing the relationship between cc and op this means the relationship from collaborative culture to organizational performance is being weakened by role ambiguity. Why weakened? Because the influence is negative. If the interaction was significant but positive, this would indicate that in presence of the moderator, the relationship from collaborative culture to organizational performance is strengthened. Now, just like role ambiguity is negatively influencing the relationship between CC and OP, what if there was a moderator that was positively influencing? In that case, we would have said that the moderator is strengthening the relationship. Our moderator has a significant direct relationship to OP. But even if it was not significant like this, the moderator has a significant influence on OP. That is your endogenous dependent variable. But even if this was not significant, this would have been okay because we are actually interested in checking the interaction rather than the direct effect if interaction was not significant then we would have said that ra or role ambiguity is not moderating the relationship between cc and op here is a general recap before we go on and discuss how to report your moderation analysis just to recap in testing for moderation with a continuous variable you need to form a mean-centered interaction that is the product of the moderator and independent variable. So you have to mean-center your IV and moderator and then create an interaction term. In AMOS, you will form a direct relationship from the composite independent and moderating variable and the mean-centered interaction to the specified dependent variable. From there, you will examine the interaction term in the analysis to determine if the interaction between the moderator and the independent variable is influencing the strength of relationship of the independent variable to the dependent variable. That is, whether the interaction term is significant or not. So how do we report the moderation analysis? The first thing that you need to do is you need to explain what moderating role are you assessing and what is the relationship in which the moderating role is being assessed. So the first thing, the study assessed the moderating role of role ambiguity, that is your moderator, on the relationship between collaborative culture, which is your IV, and organizational performance, which is your TV. So what was the result of your moderation analysis? The results revealed a negative, look at this, negative, and significant moderating impact of RA on the relationship between CC and OP. So here the relationship or the interaction is negative. That, that means that RA is negatively moderating the relationship between CC and OP. Your p-value 0 0.006, which means significant. So your H1 is significant. 
So moderation analysis summary is presented in table 1 and look at the summary. Your relationship assessed, your beta values that is your regression weights, your T values and your P values. Moving on. Now here is your simple slope analysis or a graph to model your moderation analysis. So results of simple slope analysis conducted to better understand the nature of the moderating effects are shown in figure 1. Now look at this here. As can be seen in figure 1, look at this blue line, this is much steeper and look at this red line that is showing high roll ambiguity and the blue line shows low roll ambiguity. This is much straighter, the red line. The line is much steeper for low RA, low RA, low roll ambiguity is much steeper. This shows that at low roll ambiguity, the impact of CC on OP is much stronger in comparison to high RA. So when there is low roll ambiguity, the influence of CC on OP is much stronger in comparison to high roll ambiguity. As shown in figure 2, as the level of RA is increased, as the level of your role ambiguity is increased, the strength of relationship between CC and OP is decreased. So whether it's low RA or high RA, that is low role ambiguity or high role ambiguity, your strength of relationship between CC and OP is actually changing. So your role ambiguity is negatively moderating the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now how did I get this graph? So I've got this stats tool package which is freely available on James Gaskin website and what you need to do is just mention your independent variable, your moderator variable, your dependent variable. Now what is this? Independent variable. This is the impact of independent variable on OP that is from CC to OP. Where is it? In your results, look at this. CC to OP 0.502. So you just add it here. Moderator to OP that is moderator to your dependent variable minus 2 minus 0 0.200. Where is it? Here it is minus 0 0.200. That is your role ambiguity to your dependent variable. And finally your interaction minus 0 0.095. And here it is minus 0 0.095. Once you add these values, you will get this graph. And this shows that role ambiguity actually dampens the positive relationship between CC and OP, whether low RA or high RA. If there is low RA, obviously the relationship is much stronger. But as soon as you get higher level of role ambiguity, the relationship changes. Probing the interaction. Now what do we mean by probing the interaction? Now in our moderation example, we can see that the interaction is significant and negative. But we do not know much else about the interaction or ultimately how the moderator influences the relationship of independent variable and dependent variable. Now what do we mean by knowing more about the relationship? Now we need to probe the interaction which means we are going to explore how the relationship of independent variable and the dependent variable actually changes at different levels of the moderator. Now in order to accomplish the testing of different levels of the moderator, we are initially going to explore how to examine a moderator at low levels by creating a new low level moderator. That is one standard deviation below the mean of the original moderator. So we are going to test the relationship between our IV and DV at the low level of the moderator. What if role ambiguity is low? What happens to the relationship then? And finally, we are going to test our relationship between IV and DV at high level of moderator. So what happens to the relationship when the role ambiguity is high? What do we mean by high role ambiguity? Mean plus one standard deviation. Low means minus one standard deviation and high means plus one standard deviation. Now, what's our first step? The first step is that we need to find out the standard deviation for our moderator. In this case, the standard deviation is 1.36595. So how are we going to use this? 
So let's probe the interaction when the moderator is low, that is low level of role ambiguity. What happens to the relationship when we've got low level of role ambiguity? So what we need to do is we will need to create a variable that is called low RA. And how do we do this? We have to add the standard deviation to the centered role ambiguity. Now first let's create this variable. So go to transform, compute variable and here it is. So low RA that is low role ambiguity is created through centered RA plus the standard deviation. Just press OK and your new variable is here. It's created. Now let's go back to the theory of it. Now remember, we create the low level of RA by adding the standard deviation to the mean centered moderating variable. Now it seems odd to get low moderator value by adding the standard deviation. But this is necessary process to represent the low levels of the moderator. Since this is standard deviation, we are adding standard deviation to the mean centered moderator. This means you are going further away from the mean. Further from the mean would be low role ambiguity because you are going below the mean. You are distancing yourself from the mean. You are simply increasing the distance from the mean value. That's why when you are taking or calculating the low role ambiguity or the low values for the moderator, you are adding the standard deviation. This will distance you from the mean, not bring you closer to the mean. So that would be low RA, that is low value for the moderator. Now the next step, we need to create this variable as well. Just the same way we did in the last lecture where we created the interaction between CC and RA. Now we need to create the interaction between mean centered CC and mean centered low RA. So what we need to do is once you have low RA variable like this, you need to create an interaction with the low moderator that is low RA and the mean centered independent variable of CC that is center CC. So how do we do this? Again, let's go to SPSS. Go to transform, compute variable and let's name it. Let's copy the name. So let's paste name here. And what you're doing is you're just simply multiplying your centered CC with low RA and you will get this interaction term because we need the interaction term to assess the moderating role of low RA. Just press OK and here is your variable. So once this is created, the next step is we need to do this in Amos. Now we need to build this model in Amos. So how do we do this? Simply go here. Now here is the previous model. Your independent variable, your moderator, your interaction term, your dv. Now here is my data but I can't see the other variables here. So I cannot see the interaction term. So what I need to do is I need to re-import my data. Make sure you have saved the changes. Let's go to file name import our data, press OK and now have a look here. Now we've got them here. So what we need to do is we need low RA because we are looking at the impact of low level of moderator in the relationship and we need to change the interaction as well. Now let's run the model because we've got the interaction term of these two variables and we've got the low level of moderator. And how do we run it? We just go to calculate estimates and we go to the output. Now let's look at the estimates and look at the interaction. So we are interested in this relationship at low RA. Look at this. It's still significant. So even at low level of RA, the relationship between CC and OP is significant. We are going to discuss this in a short while. So probing the interaction that is low moderator, in the output the only relationship we are concerned with is that of CC to OP. 
we want to see how this relationship actually changes when low RA is included. Notice the interaction results and the moderator relationship to OP did not change from the original analysis. Look at this. This did not change from the original analysis. The values are the same as the original analysis. The results show that when the employee had low degree of RA, that is when your role ambiguity is low, the relationship is significant and stronger in comparison to our original relationship. What was our original relationship? The original test showed a regression estimate or regression coefficient estimate of 0 0.502 at the mean level of RA. Now when you've got low role ambiguity, this relationship is strengthened. And now under low RA, this relationship is strengthened to 0.632. Now moving on, just the way we did for low moderator, we need to do for high moderator. Now, how do we do this for high moderator? Again, in this case, previously we added the standard deviation to our moderator. In this case, we are going to subtract. So we are getting closer to the mean. Let's go back to SPSS, go to transform, compute variable, and this is high RA. Now we need to subtract from center RA subtract the value what value our standard deviation just copy the value and add it make sure it's subtraction because this is high ra just press ok and now your variable is created the next step as we did earlier we need an interaction of our independent variable with the high ra that is your moderator how do we do this go to transform Compute variable, simply paste the name here and now you will need center cc multiplied by high ra. So you get the interaction. Press ok and now the two variables are created and now we are ready to run the analysis. So let's go back to amos, let's close this. Now again it's not there need to import the data go to file name now here it is so just go to view the input part diagram add high ra here and your interaction here now we are ready to run the model let's run the model and again let's go to the output let's go to estimates and we are interested in this relationship now look at this here. The relationship between CC and OP is weakened when there is high RA. Now let's go back to the interpretation or analysis of output. So we've done it for high moderator as well. Now how do we assess the output? When we go to estimates link in the output, the relationship between CC and OP, although this is weakened, look at this but it is still positive and significant at high level of moderator. Now the moderator is significant at all the level. At high level, it is significant. Have a look here. At the mean centered level, 0 0.502, when we did not create any high and low level moderators, now we simply created an interaction term between our IV and our moderator and assessed its impact on the dependent variable. It was significant as well. And at low level of the moderator, it was significant and stronger. Now we can see that with the change at the moderator level, the relationship between CC and OP actually changes. So what happens is the construct of RA is moderating the relationship of CC to OP when RA levels are both weak and strong. Look at this. RA strong, RA weak. And the relationship or the estimate is changing and changing significantly. Now by probing the interaction, you get a better picture of the relationship from the independent variable to the dependent variable in the presence of the moderator, just like this. Now if you want to know more about moderation, this is a very good book. Thank you very much.